hello everyone uh, today i am going to explain regarding uh, one bit what we left in the module 5 that is based on meta heuristics in that we have three algorithm one is genetic algorithm another one is simulated annealing and third one is minimal spanning tree taboo search algorithm it is one of the meta heuristics heuristics techniques only and it is an traditional based approach okay as you already seen genetic algorithm and simulated annealing and only this is the bit that is left in the module 5 that i will cover today and what is meta heuristics meta heuristics is the traditional approach to solve the problems like in the algorithm we have algorithm subject we have seen in order to get the any output we have series of steps are there you have to follow step one step two and n number of steps to get particular answer but in the meta heuristics we don't have any steps and we don't have the mathematical formula based on some assumptions we have to get the output that is why these are the traditional approach okay like some we have to apply some assumptions to get some particular answer and in the meta heuristics there is no fixed answers are there it means that there is no final answer and there will be a no final iteration so you have to do particular uh, iteration like you have to perform few iteration out of that you have to get which one is the best one that will be the final answer for example in the taboo search algorithm only we are going to solve uh, two to three iteration in that which one is the best one that will be the final answer and we can't say that we have to do only three iteration we can do fourth fifth and sixth iteration any number of iteration out of that you have to find the best one so similarly in this algorithm we are going to solve few iteration out of that we are going to uh, find out of this best one okay so the taboo search algorithm it is an algorithm used to find the minimal spanning tree okay this concept we studied in the dms what is a spanning tree so before that what is a tree tree is the graph in which no cycles are there and all the vertices should be connected no cycles means it is a graph where if we start from one vertex we we come back to the same vertex without any edge repeating that becomes cycle but here there is no cycles in it means there is no, there is no start from same vertex come back to same vertex without any edge repeating so nice no cycles in it but all the vertices are connected then what is minimal spanning tree minimal spanning tree is that first we need to find the minimum number of edges that are required to connect a tree that is a spanning tree then minimal means for example in this graph total number of edges are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 out of these 7 edges in order to make it connected graph we required only 4 edges okay that is given here it is an initial example okay so our job is to find the minimal spanning tree for the given graph by using some assumptions as defined in the problem okay so initially he has given one example like it is an main graph initial graph not to make it minimal spanning tree we required only these four edges to be connected like one two three and four these are the minimum number of edges out of seven are required to make the graph connected that is it is one of the example for minimal spanning tree then by taking at this example we have to perform few more iteration like we have to find many minimal spanning tree out of that which is, which tree will give the minimum cost that will be the minimal spanning tree at the end so in order to perform that operation we have the constraint like link ad can be included if and only link de is also included it means that just look at this example if ad is there de should be there but in this example ad is included but de is not 
included it is dashed one it is not included so that that will be the first constraint vice versa is not true it means that if de is there ad may be there may not be there that is not required it means that ad idra de irebeku similarly de idra ad irebeku anta enu illa okay so then second constraint at most one of the three links ad cd ab can be added just look at here in this example which all gc has taken ad is there yes ad is there cd is there cd is not there then ab ab okay out of ab ad and cd only one link at out of three link you can use only one link but i'm using two link that means the constant get fails so what i have said out of these three links if you don't want any penalty you just use only one link or no link so just look at here if the first constraint fails it means that ad iddaga de irilla andra first constraint fail aadanga okay then 100 penalty will be 100 penalty will be fine similarly second constraint fail aadra what i have said second constraint means out of ad cd and ab you can use maximum one link okay so on the link use madidra no penalty but uh, if you are using two link then in the second case uh, if two links are used then 100 penalty if three links are used then 200 penalty if only one link is used then no penalty okay so if we take this example only so out of ad cd and ab how many links i'm using i'm using one link and two link so that uh, instead of using only one link i'm using two link so that second constant fails you're going to go find 100 rupees okay if i'm using ab ad and cd all three link, all three link then it will be the 200 penalty out of these three if i'm using only one link that time it is no penalty so based on these constant you have to find many different minimal spanning tree out of that we have to find the minimum spanning tree with the minimum cost okay so in order to perform this we go for the steps okay so first step is that how to perf how to find the new minimum spanning tree so for that we need to add uh, the edges if you add one edge you have to delete one edge then based on the first constant second constant and cost of the tree we find the whole cost of the tree okay so just look at here first we come for the main tree it is the initial tree from this only we find the new iterations so first link in this graph always only four edges to be connected like one two three four only four edges to be connected if you are adding one edge then you have to delete one edge okay so for example if i add be then which edge edge to be deleted what i have said the graph should not contain any cycle it means that if i add be then this forms a cycle just look here if i add be then this becomes a cycle so i have to delete one of the edge any one of these like i can delete either ad i can delete either ac or i can delete ce means this doesn't form a cycle means that if i add be then either i can delete ad ac or ce any one link if you add one link then you have to delete one link so this forms a cycle so delete any one of this three link okay so if i add be then if i add be then a b link should be deleted at the first case second case if i add be i can delete a c if i add be then i can delete c e the same thing i have taken here if i add be either i can delete a b a c or c so add one delete one so just have taken one example here from the initial iteration from this to this 
if I add BE already AB is there that you have deleted now now it is dash one just look at here I made it dash one okay if I add BE I have deleted AD first AB first if I add BE delete AB okay then check for the first constraint what I have said if AD link is there DE should be there okay AD is there but D is not there then it should be a failure of first constraint then if first constraint fail what is the penalty 100 rupees okay similarly what is second constraint mm, out of ad cd and ab i am a link i am using only one link if i am using only one link then no penalty so that zero penalty then what is the cost cost is 30 plus 5 plus 10 plus 15 it means 30 plus 15 plus 5 20 30 plus 20 50 50 plus 1 60 so that total 100 plus 60 is 160 so similarly uh, it is only one example i have given so similarly you have to do second and third okay so second one in the same one uh, still three more links uh, two more links are there this link is i have performed next if i add de link then which attribute removed if i add this then this forms a cycle okay so that either i can delete ad or i can ac or ce any one of the link can be deleted so the same thing i given here if i add de ac ad or c then uh, initially first i take an example here so if i add de then which is deleted ac is deleted okay ac deleted then check for the first constraint first constraint what i have said if ad is there d should be there yes it is there just look at it if ad is there d should be there so that no penalty second one out of a b a d c d how many links i'm using two links i have to make use of only one link but i'm using two in two links so that 100 penalty then cost of the tree is 80 so that it is 180 similarly check for the remaining possibilities okay then uh, similarly one more link is left that is cd link if i apply that either i can delete ad or ac just look at here third one if i add cd uh, don't look at this one because it is already disconnected if i add cd this forms a cycle so either i can delete ad or ac so then with the same initial graph perform the operation we get this answer okay then out of all this the minimum value where i'm getting is 75 so when we get this one after adding de deleting ad so initially we have this graph when we get answer minimum answer is 75 then 75 when we got after adding ad and deleting adding de and deleting ad add de delete ad from the initial graph then we got the minimum answer is 75 for this graph similarly we have to do second iteration okay second iteration means uh, whatever the answer we obtained in the first iteration that is 75 the minimum one now this is the initial graph from this we need to get the second iteration okay for that uh, we are solved here okay B, if added BE, then which has to be deleted? AB, AC, or CE. See, if I added BE, then this forms a cycle. Either I can delete AB, AC, or CE. So, again, perform this. So, here we got 85. Similar to the steps, we get 85 is the minimum answer. Then, from the first 75 we got, but in second iteration, we got 85. Compared to this one, the first iteration only, the final answer. First answer is the 75 is the minimum one, but similarly we go for the third iteration from this to this. So in the third iteration, after doing this, we get the minimum answer is 70. So 70 is the minimum cost what we obtain in the so it is not a final iteration, but uh, in the meta heuristic there will be the no number of final fixed iteration. So we stop here only. So in the exam, either we do either two or three iteration then conclude it then you will get the full marks okay so the third iteration we got 70 by adding 
which edges edges are 